All right, now we're back at the House Kid at White Room Studios in Austin, Texas, and we're listening to the major third. Now, you heard it on the intro. If you didn't notice the difference between the two, we're gonna get a little bit closer in on it now. Um, the major third is a bit richer of a tuning than, say, the perfect fourth, uh, but it still stands out in the mix because of the differential between the bottom head and the top head. It still jumps out to the microphones because the sound is bouncing back so quickly off that bottom head. Uh, I do like this. Again, I mentioned I use it with little John Roberts, and it's just such a musical tuning, man, especially in his hands, in that master's hands. Uh, and of course, we have this, so we have tonic here at the batter head, perfect, or should I say a major third above the, on the rezzo head, and same thing with the floor, tonic, major third above. And these two are, again, about a perfect fifth apart, a nice my girl tuning, which on a 12 and a 16 works really well in just about any context, whether you tune them up high or tune them down low. Rock or jazz, if these are the two drums you have, the perfect fifth between the two is a lovely place to start and then see where it sounds good. And let's get a little tempo going, let's get this on, man. <coughs> All right, man, now this sounds amazing to me in this room. I think the major third might be a great thing for this room here at White Room Studios because it sounds rich, yet still has a nice attack to it, a lovely sustain, but not too much to get in the way with your mix. And that's something you're trying to do here with tuning, not only capture a sound or capture an image, this really is only one image, one set of overhead set at one place, tom mics that you use, everything has an effect on what you get. So by having well-tuned toms where you can control the sound of the drum with, by changing the interval of the bottom head, gives you the tools to help your engineer, to help your band, to help your project, just sound better and get what you want out of the studio or live or whatever it is you're looking for. Um, I hope you enjoyed this installment of the major third. Stick around and we're gonna check out the minor third, which is the droppy one. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some jazzy tones out of these drums in this studio here today. When you say you love me, don't say you love me. For my sake, feel it in your skin The words make my soul shake So just take me please by the hand Let me love you till the end It's all you got to do for my sake 